iOS 26.2 Developer Beta 1 Features and Changes. We'll kick things off with another update to Liquid Glass. Now, when we're in the lock screen editor and we're choosing our time and the font and the color that we want this to be, when you choose the Liquid Glass option, you've now got this slider so we can customize how liquid glass this looks, how transparent the time actually becomes. We also get a pretty substantial update to podcasts. So now the Apple Podcasts app will automatically generate any of the chapters within the podcast that didn't exist beforehand. And if we go into the transcript modes, go ahead and follow along, we can also drop down into those chapters and find exactly the start of which section that we'd like to start from. And within the show notes as well for our podcast, under the links section, we now have actual links that we can go ahead and click on that takes us through to the various pages. We also get a couple of updates within settings. The first of those in, is inside of our accessibility options. If we scroll down to where we have audio and visual options and then scroll all the way to the bottom, we've got this flash for alerts option. Now we've had this in the past where we can actually use the LED flash on the back of the iPhone to go ahead and flash to notify us when we have a notification. We can now do this on the screen and we can use both of those options. So if I select screen or both, when I get that notification, the actual screen will flash as well as the LED on the back of the phone. Final change inside of settings is only available for some users depending on the country, but inside of your notification settings all the way at the bottom, where depending on where you live, you'll have different types of emergency alerts. Some users will be seeing new options down here as well. And that's 